You just can't trust the weather in the springtime. Uh, earlier this week it was in the 70s, beautiful, in the 50s in the morning, and today it's, it's freezing and uh, just barely freezing. And I've seen little flakes of snow, but still, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. If you check it out, you can see I'm walking around in some sloppy old puddles. That means that my irrigation water is on and it's flowing. This little field I have my horses in, that old daisy, that, that buckskin, she needs curried out pretty bad. But it's a beautiful morning, a little bit cold, but it's time to just play around with a little bit of water before I get ready to, to face the day. Sun's not quite, yeah, sun's up yet. You just can't see it because of the gray overcast skies. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be an interesting week. You can see this field is pretty much wet. That'll help green this up. It's been a dry winter. There's not a whole lot of moisture at the root depth of this grass. This is a real shallow rooted grass. So, so we'll, we have to water about every 10 to 14 days to keep this grass happy. But it's about the only thing that really does, does well here, grass and some clover. Here is where the work begins. This is the alfalfa field I put in this spring. And you can see over here, this is actually pretty exciting. This spot right here we're looking down. I was never able to get water more than halfway down this, this area right here. You can still see I have a tiny bit of a high spot most of the way down there. Just had too many high spots. I couldn't get water down there. So when I work this field over, I used a box blade and drug some of that dirt off the high spots as best as I could uh, judge. And it looks pretty good actually. And what I need is I need water down most every corrugate. And you can see I don't quite have it. That's a pretty healthy dry spot there. <clears throat> I'd consider all of this right here, this little section, a dry spot. And I've got to get some water directed down to it. Actually, from the house, I was looking pretty, I was pretty disappointed. But looking at it out here, this is better. This is almost acceptable. Right, I can let, because what's going to happen is as this crop starts to grow up, especially where it's been watered, that'll slow down the water into those corrugates and it'll force it down into some of these that are dry. But overall, we're pretty much there for a little flat field. The tools that I have at my disposal. Yeah, I'm overall I'm pretty happy with this. I've got some work to do on it to try to get uh, some of these dry spots kind of cleaned up a little bit. But yeah, looking good. Looking good. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but there's a few snowflakes dancing around here. In fact, there might be some, uh, yeah, a little bit of ice. Let's see if I can step across the ditch here. Is that ice or just, nope, that's ice. A little bit of ice. Daytime highs in the mid 70s, close to 80 to to freezing. It's springtime. It's just what you expect. 